Hello guys, this is Less Work, More Camping. I'm Andy, this is my wife Debbie, Hello. if you haven't been with us before. This is the beginning of the 23 camping season. We're gonna start off by uh, going to the uh, Timonium RV show. Check out some possible campers that we're looking at because uh, end of this year, I plan on retiring. That'll open up the door for a lot more camping videos because right now it's very limited working full time like I like I'm presently doing so I was thinking today we're going to try something new we're going to uh, mostly focus on travel trailers smaller size ones like under 30 foot because that's basically what we're uh, looking to get into at this point so what do you think oh I brought a list you brought a list I brought a list you got a shopping <laughs> list yes I do <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to look at that list. <laughs> oh, it only has seven campers on it. Am I going to have to hit the lottery? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to go in here and uh, start looking, see what they have available there. Uh, hey, and, guys, let us know what kind of camper you would like to see. Yeah, and if you see any uh, particular campers that you like in here or anything, drop a comment down below. Tell us what you like about them and you know and if you actually have one of these campers let us know how it's working out for you you know if there's is there any problems with them or anything you know i'd like to know all that information all right without further ado let's go inside here and see what they got available oh one more thing we actually did a thing we got rid of that monster 3500 diesel ram that we had and uh we traded that in for this Twenty three Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. That's a really nice truck, and it, uh, I think, it's going to meet all the uh, specifications that we're going to need for the size of travel trailer that we're going to be getting a hold of. So uh, it's rated for up to about seventy five hundred pounds, roughly. It depends on, they're all different. It depends on which one you have, which model number you have, and you know, what options you have and all that stuff. So, but that's, that's where this one is. This is right around 7,500 pounds. So, that's what we're working with. All right, this one is a Sonic Light by Venture RV. Nice solid steps. It's like a camper queen. Nice little wardrobe there. Matching wardrobe on that side. Got little cubbies up on the top with a net. There's the kitchen. Large size round sink. Two burner stove. Got a Furion fridge here. The 12 volt. Nice. Nice size window right there. Looks like the radio control. Little TV up top there. Nice nice size bathroom. Wow. A lot of storage right there. You can hang stuff up. Actually has a porcelain foot flush toilet. Stainless steel sink. Very nice. Got a medicine cabinet up here. Looks like they have the control panel here in the bathroom. That's kind of odd. Got a corner shower. Let's see how well this fits me. Okay, I'm six foot two. I got I got headroom in here. 
even have a fair amount of elbow room. Not too bad. I thought it would feel a lot tighter in here. slam latches that's pretty nice with the magnetic catch this is a model SL 150 VRB show price 27.9 dry tow weight 31.50 shot of the back of it there. Not a bad little camper. Okay, this one is a Surveyor Legend. Nice nice front uh, windshield there. This is not a pass-through storage, but that's a nice little spot right there. Nice graphics. Too. Glass door. Solid step. This is model 19 MD BLE. Show price 32.9. Go in here and have a look. Okay, this is a Murphy bed setup, which gives you the ability to have a couch there when you're not using your bed. That's nice. Look at this huge window. That is nice. Nice size dinette. Even I could fit in on that one. Little TV right there. It's got a vacuum. Little floor operated vacuum. Nice microwave. Two burner cooktop there. Large farm sink. Furion fridge. Same as the last ones, 12 volt, very nice. Little range hood. Quite a bit of cabin space up here. And got two bunks back here. These are pretty nice sized bunks, are wide. Take a look at the bathroom. Okay, this is a kind of a tiny sink right here. See, my hand covers most of it, but I guess it gets the job done. Little medicine cabinet. Got a little bit of space underneath. Got a porcelain foot flush toilet. And this is a kind of a small tub right here. And my head is all the way up inside the skylight there, so it's good that's there. I mean, it's kind of tight, but it gets the job done. Again, the control panel in the bathroom. I don't know, I don't understand the reasoning behind that. I was always taught the water and electric don't mix bathrooms you take a shower and it gets kind of steamed up in there I don't know I'm just not a big fan of that this has Asdell it has Asdell mm -hmm. that's that's a good thing so you don't have to worry too much about delamination uh -uh. I like the solid step yeah I like the graphics yeah it's got nice graphics on it it's got a huge awning up there I like the fact that it's black it won't show up all the dirt we have a white awning on ours, and that thing is terrible. It just shows everything. A little bit of storage right there. How you doing? Good. How's it going? Walkable. It's obviously a walkable roof. It's got a ladder on the back there. Spare tire. Let's see if I can get around this side. Okay, it's got a Schwintech slide system on it. I'm loving that window. Single axle. 
You see the size of that window? Look at that bad boy. And you got the water heater and connections there, city water and gravity feed water, gravity fill. Not a bad little camper. Okay, this one here is a Sunray Sport model 109. 2023. Show price fourteen nine. I'm not. I can't even stand up in this thing. <laughs> well, it's got an air conditioner up there, ceiling fan. And this, I'm sure, this folds out into a bed. It looks like a one-person camper. I guess it'd be nice for hunting trips or fishing trips, stuff like that. It'd be the off-road tires. Okay, here's the back side of it. It's got a nice kitchen there. It's a nice little, uh, it's a gas electric RV type fridge. Microwave sink. Plastic sink, two burner cooktop. Got a 110 outlet there. A little storage under there. cute little camper okay this one is a no boundaries it's another really teeny one model 1744 now that's the dry weight 1744 it's only 10.6 feet there's a bed that folds out there. Got a TV in here. Exit on both sides. It's got some tie downs on the floor there. Again, nice off road style tires. Got a nice roof rack up on the top. Got a wine guard antenna. And an AC unit is up there. Scissor jacks for stabilizers. This is actually a, uh, a mini toy hauler. Okay, this one is a no boundaries. Got a nice LED light to cross the top cap there, windshield. Pass through storage and it's locked. Can't look in there. It's dual axle. Show price $31,888. Dry 208 4265 There's a big awning on this thing. Nice solid step. Okay. Well, pretty nice. Quite a bit of room in here. Okay. Nice. Got a little closet you can hang stuff up on, and I guess you could use this here for a pantry. That's nice. Okay. Looks like a plastic uh, toilet. Nice little vanity, corner shower, nice 12 volt fridge, two burner cooktop, got the microwave down below. This one also has a vacuum where you can just take and sweep all your stuff 
right to that point, turn it on and away it goes. Okay. Now, yeah. pretty long drawers, ball bearing slides. This is actual plywood construction, that's not cheap particle wood. Nice sink. Cabinet space up above, and it goes all the way through. Nice size sliding window. I like this bar here. Yeah. Got some bar stools there. That's nice. Sit there, have your breakfast or whatever. Looks like a camper queen size bed. Wardrobes on each side. Looks like it has a place that's got 110 and a place to, it's got some USB ports on both sides. Another 110 there. Got a couch here. Nice size window over there. Cabinet space up above. Not bad. This one also has Asdell, the construction uh, incorporated in the sidewall. That's nice. It's got a ladder to go up on a roof, so it is a walkable roof. And it's got some kind of a rack on the back there. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, this is the No Boundaries 19.3 model number. And this one here, it's, you can't see it's dark in there, but it does have pass-through storage. It goes all the way through. There's a huge awning on it. A glass door. Solid step. Take a look inside here. Okay, this is a Murphy bed setup. You use the couch when you're not using the bed. Got the wardrobe on each side. And hang stuff up. And you get 110 and USB outlets. It's got the pleated shades, which I'm not too much of a fan of, but they work. And television. Got a dinette. It's got a huge window there. Looking at your campsite too, which is good. Let's see what's stove. Uh, got a two burner suburban range hood. A lot of space up above. Let's see what we got below here. Yeah, quite a bit of space down there. Can't put a trash can in there. But there's a lot of space. Nice 12 volt fridge looks like. Yeah. Nice freezer space. Lots, lots of storage space here. All right, this one, this this one has a control panel out here, which I like. And there's the thermostat. This is a bunk model, nice size bunks. And what do we have here? Ah, oh. you can use that for a pantry or whatever else you like. Take a peek at the bathroom here. I don't know what's up with these little Barbie sinks. They are so small. Again, here's my hand. <laughs> but it's deep, so you can get cleaned up in that. A yeah, little bit of space under there. It's like a plastic toilet. Got a medicine cabinet. Got a nice radius shower there shower rod this one actually does have solar on top skylight Let's see if I fit up inside this yeah again I'm 6'2 and it's uh it's a little bit tight but 
it gets the job done. Let's see what else we have outside here. This one has a lifetime market. Show price is $34.9. Mm -hmm. well, that's pretty good if they stand behind it like that. off-road tires like an outside escape hatch for the bunk <laughs> get a ladder there to get up on top of the roof nice camper Okay, this thing is just so cute I had to take a look at it. It's called a Luna Rover. This is the back side of it. Look at this, it's got a big farm sink there. The Dometic two burner cooktop. We got back here, storage space. The 110 right there. A little bit of cabinet space there. A nice faucet. More store space down here. A little bit anyway. We've got some hoses. But this actually is a Norcold portable fridge. It has a toilet. Little space there. <laughs> what is this here? Oh, look at that. Look at that teeny propane bottle. I've never oh, seen one that size. That's cute. <laughs> so Luna Rover. Show price $23.9. <laughs> this is cute. There's the AC down there. It's got a radio there, TV. You can unfold that bed there. I'm guessing that's one of those cassette type toilets. Got some reading lights. And storage under there. It's got a ceiling fan. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Here's the front of it. Got a large uh, rack where you can put stuff on top of the roof there. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> okay, this is a Rockwood 2509. Got a little storage under the side there. Solid steps. Yeah, it's a 29 uh 2509 S yeah, show price 39777. Oh, that's nice. It's got L-shaped island here. It's like a large sink split stainless steel. Very nice. A three burner cooktop. It's got an extender on it too. A small oven. A TV there. Nice Magic Chef microwave there. 12 volt fridge. Look at over here. A pantry? Yep, we have a pantry. Very nice. Do you have questions with them? Oh no. We're actually looking for the 20. Got a 20 double bunk house here. I don't believe it. Do you want the full size queen bed? This is the right queen bed yet. You didn't bring a 22? I don't even know if I have it in stock yet. I have them on order. I don't know if I made it here in time. Let's find out for you. Got a porcelain foot flush toilet. It's got one of those water misers on it. That's nice. Good size shower. Medicine cabinet. You can actually fit a wastebasket underneath of this sink. Lots of room there.
not a bad little camper. The 2500, no, it's actually for bunk beds, it's one of the most popular ones. We yeah, have. yeah. It is nice. It's got the drawers you like too. It's got the Murphy bed. But we don't want oh, the bunk house. Yeah, this wouldn't be. So I have one in stock in the company, or it's coming in. It's not even in stock yet. <laughs> I figures every one that we want to look at probably is out of stock. Well, this one too is one of the most popular models. All right. Looking at a Jayco here. Pass through storage. Little solid step. This one is the 199 MBS. Yeah. That one now. Okay, it's a Murphy bed setup. TV is right there. Little U-shaped dinette. Nice large window right there. Kind of a small kitchen sink, but three burner cooktop. Yeah, a lot of storage there. Nice large drawer. Pot and pan drawer. All, all on ball bearing slides. Bed here. And an even larger drawer. Okay, nice 12 volt fridge. Nice microwave up above. No cabinet space there. Two bunk beds. Let's see what the bathroom looks like. All right. Looks like a plastic toilet. Well, at least that's a larger sink right there. Good medicine cabinet. The window there. Storage and a shower. Got a nice radius shower rod where it curves out where it gives you more space. This is about the same size as the last one, so I'm not going to top up in there. Got a little shelf on top there. A little mini fridge there. Little capital grills. Okay. The back window there. This one, rather than a mounted ladder, it has one of those telescoping ladders. And it looks like it has the, uh, the Lippert electric stabilizing jacks. Okay, this is a grand design. Imagine AIM 16ML. A lot of storage underneath there, bathroom. Solid steps. Nice size bed. It's an east-west situated bed. The wardrobe there with a couple of drawers. Overhead cabinet space. There's a lot of space up there. You know, passes all the way through. A ton of storage there. Huge drawers. Actually, has a good amount of counter space right here too. Two burner cooktop. There's the TV. 
overhead cabinets all over the place round sink huh the microwave down there it looks like a big pot and pan drawer it's got a nor cold fridge this is 12 volt more cabinets up above that goes way back in there Looks like a jackknife sofa there. Let me pull that out and have that as an extra bed. Good size window. Looks like a, that's a, that fooled me. It's, a, it's actually a plastic toilet. Small sink and a large counter. Stainless steel, that's nice. That's a little bitty drawer. Medicine cabinet. A little little teeny shower there. I wouldn't fare too well in that one. Off-road style tire. Got a little capital grills. It's like a little black stone. This large awning LEDs. Get the water heaters in the back. And you get a ladder to get up on the roof and do your maintenance. Okay, folks, the next one here is in a Grand Design Imagine XLS. This is what, a 23 LDE? Yes. Yeah. Let me go inside first and then we'll take a look at the outside. Well, actually we'll wait a minute because there's somebody in there. Take a look at the storage here. Nice amount of pass-through storage there. You see that, Deb? Look how big that is. It is nice. Very nice. With a huge awning on it. And it runs almost the whole length of the camper. The LD, LED lights built into it. Twenty-eight five. Yep, there's the overall length, twenty-eight feet five inches. Unladen vehicle weight is fifty-five ninety-seven. It's dual entry. Another set of steps right over there. Yeah. Got the uh, scissor style stabilizing jacks on it. Spare tire. Got a roof rat, uh, ladder there. Nice, nice high back window. <laughs> All right, back to the Imagine 23 LDE. There's the bedroom. Looks like a full queen size. It's wardrobes on both sides. It's nice. Dual drawers. This one has a split bathroom. You get the shower on this side over there. Porcelain toilet, cubby is there, and you got the sink side and the, and the medicine cabinet over here. And you got a door for privacy on both sides so you can close the bathroom off. Nice theater seat. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Hope you find one. You know what else is nice? These steps. Big one yes. there. They don't fold in, dump all the dark They're water in your, in your trailer. Oh, okay. Because you were looking for the other ones. No. Oh, the I, kind that you push up. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't. Yeah. Mine personally would not buy one. Yeah. 
I like that. You don't have to always wipe them off really good. Dry them off. That's why they put the sprayer port on the outside. If you notice on most of those that have the solid steps, yeah. there's a sprayer port right beside it. That way you can hose it off before you fold it up so yeah. all the dirt doesn't the come inside. <laughs> yeah, the water comes in and nice theater you stop like, like we stop like at a roadside, like the, you know. You it's like a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. A little pantry. Yeah. 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 Nice drawers. Yeah. Let me get over here, Deb. Take a look okay. at this here. Nice, nice deep drawers. It's a good, good amount of counter space there too. Got more drawers over there with a fuse panel on the bottom there. Nice. There's the control panel, electronic. USB and 110 outlets. You get all this space up here. Lots of cabinetry. Now if that's not enough, here's some more over here. Big drawers there. And you got like a little shoe garage right there. It's not a bad camper, I like this. It is nice. Did you check the shower out? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's another grand design product, a Transcend. This one here is the 200 MK. trying to take the sign down. I was going to give you a shot of the storage in there, but I guess I can't get to that one right now. Get some aluminum steps. A huge awning up top. Oh my goodness. Looks like a full-size queen bed right there, full length, 80 inches. Good wardrobes on each side. Full length drawer there. Look the size of that window. Theater seating. And we have a kitchen countertop that just doesn't stop, it just keeps on going. You should actually go back here. Cabinets galore. Oh my god. Nice size drawers. They're on ball bearing slides. My goodness, look at all the storage. Got the fuse panel down there and the breakers. That's nice. Pizza oven. The pizza oven? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like these cabinets. Yeah. And the handles and everything. I like this. Yeah, real nice. It has a real nice quality feel to it. Yeah. Unlike some of them. Three burner cooktop. You got the big stainless steel farm sink. Sprayer handle. Nice. I mean, look at all this space. I know. My goodness. This thing just doesn't stop, does it? No, it looks better. On a website. Huge pot and pan drawer there. You even have more space down here. Goodness gracious. Wow. Definitely not a lack of space in this camper. It's a big shower too. Let's see what kind of fridge we got here. It's a Furion. 12 volt. Very nice. Let's see the freezer on it. It's got a travel lock or something on it. Huh, on it. I'm gonna get the shower. Uh huh. Got a latch underneath of it there. Very nice. A lot of space in there. Mm -hmm. Nice porcelain foot flush toilet. You got, to, got a cubby there to put toilet paper and your towels, wash rags, whatever you need there. 
medicine cabinet, another cubby up there. Another one of them small sinks I don't like too much. But like I said before, it's deep and it gets the job done. Get some more space down there. Check out this shower here. Oh, you got plenty of room in there. And it's about, about the same size as the one we have right now, our current camper. Without the tub. Yeah, but ours has a tub instead of a, a floor pan there. But, man, this countertop is just amazing. Those standard seats are awesome. I'm afraid to sit down. I might not want to get back <laughs> up. I like that. Look at that window, how big yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Definitely get the theater sheets instead of the booth. Wow. Very comfortable. Yeah. And in, these seats are directly across from the TV there. Very nice. Very nice. It has very little carpet. The only carpet I see in here is just that little teeny strip right there at the slide. Just barely pokes out a little bit from the uh, theater seats. Wow. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this unit. Me too. Okay, this next one is another uh, Grand Design Imagine. It's a 17 MKE. Pass-through storage, a lot of storage in there. Same setup, the aluminum steps. This one is a Murphy bed. Ample size wardrobe on each side. Two drawers. Nice cabinet, nice counter. Theater seats. Yeah, you get a lot of a lot of counter on this one here too. TV up there. These large size drawers. And a mirror there. It's got a large stainless steel farm sink. Spice rack. Yeah, a little built-in spice rack. That's nice. More storage there. Three burner cooktop. Easy bake oven, as we call them. <laughs> a small microwave. Got more storage up here on top. There's 12 volt fridge. This one also has a nice foot flush toilet. Stainless steel sink, medicine cabinet. Pretty deep too. And some extra storage right there. You got your cubbies right there. The shower. Decent sized shower. This actually has the uh, the wiper style. They call it self self cleaning or. Something that you gotta watch these. You let them go, they, they snap back pretty fast. They could startle you. A skylight up there, and the roof vent fan. The only thing I see is it's not travel friendly. Well, you couldn't. Uh, I mean, it's. You couldn't put the bed down. Yeah, with a slide in, the Murphy the Murphy bed would not be usable. No. So it's. This is not what we call Cracker Barrel friendly. But it's a nice camper. Take a look at the outside here real quick. Tandem axle, nice wheels. Got the water heater and furnace here in the back. And a ladder to do your maintenance on the roof and clean the roof off. Not bad. Okay, this one is an Ember Touring Edition. 
take a look inside first and we'll look at the outside. Nice solid steps going up. Yeah, it looks like a full size uh, queen bed. Full 80 inches. Yeah. Nice window up there you can open up. Wardrobe. Drawers on each side. I'm not seeing any uh, USBs or anything over here or 110 outlets. Oh, I know, I know where they're at. They, they hit them up here, I think. Up in a cubby. Yep, there they are, right there. Hidden up in there. So at nighttime, you can put your phone back there, plug it in, or whatever. A little bit of overhead storage there. It's a nice kitchen setup. Got a fireplace, TV, and the seating is right directly across from it. Got lots of cabinets up here. You got the nice stretch to hold them up. It's good to hold the doors up. Yeah, fireplace. Yeah, you see that? Nice amount of cabinet space up above. Mm. Like counter. Looks like it's got a split stainless steel sink here. Cutting board and a drying rack right there. Nice faucet. It's not a sprayer, but more cabinets. More cabinets. You can definitely get a trash, you can get two trash cans down there. <laughs> Plenty of space. Nice long drawers on ball bearing slides. Full length. Oh, soft closing too. How about that? Looks like it has a little bit larger oven in it. And it's just like pot and pan drawer space down there. Three bar cooktop. It's a nice counter. I like that. Nice backsplash. Dual windows there. Good size. More up above cabinets back here. Nice. Looks like it's got a Furion 12 volt fridge. Nice size. Nice freezer. Nice porcelain foot flush toilet. Got some cubbies back there. It's got a nice, nice size sink right there. It's not too bad. Space down there. More cubbies there. Medicine cabinet. Nice shower with a shower miser on there. And you got a skylight there. Nice size fan there. You get in this one here. Yeah, it, uh, it's not too bad. Got pretty good room up in here. Huh? My head's not even, I don't even need the skylight for space. Very nice. This has one of those wiper style shower curtains. Nice size awning there. Outside kitchen. Nice capital grills set up there. Little dorm size fridge. Yeah, beer fridge. That's right. Don't have to go far to get to it. Got nice electric jacks on it. about as far as I can go. There's a side view. It's a pretty deep slide. It's a cable slide. LED lights. Very nice. Alright folks, this one here is an Ember 221. MSL. Nice 
solid steps. Look at that latch. It's different. It's like it's kind of like an outdoor slam latch. It's that's a nice latch right there. It's a Murphy bed setup. Nice wide wardrobes on both sides. I think that's a jackknife sofa right there. I like this fridge. It's big. Good. Got a big stainless steel round sink here. Two burner cooktop. Ton of space down there. And there, you got three drawers here. Soft clothes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Bathroom to you. Yeah, 10 cubic foot Furion, 12 volt. This is a bunk model. Got a ton of storage underneath of there. And you two good sized bunks. TV Entertainment Center. Got extra storage back in there too. Plus you got cabinets up here. This goes all the way through and you get access to those two doors there. Nice bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet, very nice shower. Shower module on there. Got a skylight there. That's good size too. You see the length of this? Yeah, it did. Gorgeous. I like the man. I like it. A little, a li I would say, yeah, a little, a little bit of my head goes up into the uh, skylight though. But other than that, it's got plenty of room there. One of these cubbies down here. Space down there. This medicine cabinet. Check out the outside. Love these solid steps. Dual axle. Check out this suspension. Independent suspension it has. Made by Kurt. Off-road capable. Wow, that's that's a beefy suspension right there. You see this hatch door on the back here? Look at that. Oh, that's cool. And the way it's set up, you close that bathroom door, you've, there's a space that goes all the way through so you could throw a kayak or something up in there. Okay. Plenty of room. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. We got in all that we could do. Uh, keep in mind, there is a lot that we haven't seen there. And... Uh, there's also another separate building, which is the exhibition hall that you can go into that has mostly smaller size campers in there. So uh, anybody who's planning on going out there and hitting that show, you know, keep that in mind. So, uh, and I checked one off my list. Yeah, she has a, she has one that she really likes a whole lot. So do I. So <laughs> mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see upcoming videos, uh, ring the notification bell there. And any questions or comments, drop them down below. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.